First off, I don't want you to think that turning to alcohol is a good thing while you're stuck at home. With that being said, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of alcohol in moderation. And so today, I'm going over my favorite whiskeys to drink straight. Stick around. Fellas, welcome back. It's Robert, your everyday gentleman. And I hope you're all doing well and continuing to stay safe during this crisis. Now, with most of us still in the heart of the stay-at-home orders, coming across cocktail supplies is a little more difficult than usual. Now, luckily, I had just purchased a bottle of bitters, a new box of sugar cubes, and I've got an orange tree in the back, so old-fashioned should be okay for a while. However, when those supplies are out of stock or you just don't want to take the time to make a drink, a nice straight shot of whiskey will always do the trick. But you can't just pour any whiskey. Some low-end bottles really aren't meant to drink straight or even on the rocks. So today, I'm gonna go over my favorite whiskeys to drink neat. What's up, dude? This guy's a whiskey aficionado. Now remember, I'm not a whiskey som, so don't expect any crazy descriptions. And also, this is based on my individual preferences and taste buds. Yours may differ from mine, and that's perfectly fine. That's where we can engage in good conversation down below. So make sure you let me know which whiskeys are your favorites to drink straight. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna welcome you. If you're interested not only in whiskey, but also things like men's style, fragrances, fitness, grooming, cigars, and other things for the everyday man, then this might be the place for you. Consider subscribing and joining the growing EG family. And if you're a returning subscriber, I wanna thank you for your continued support. And now, let's jump into it. First up, we have one of my absolute favorite reaches, Johnny Walker Double Black. Double Black, not to be confused with the original black label, is a very smoky whiskey. That's really one of the main things that draws me to it. It's actually what I'm drinking right now. I love a good smoky whiskey neat and Double Black is an excellent option. It's usually a great crowd pleaser with most people that I've introduced it to really enjoying it. The nose is really nice with that smokiness really coming through, but it's not overwhelming and you get a little bit of a hint of sweetness. The palate gives me a nice creamy and sweet taste with that smokiness coming through for a really smooth drink. You can easily find this bottle for about 30, 35 bucks. It's actually one that I frequently take with me to parties. This one I actually also included in my favorite whiskeys under $50. I'll put a link to that video right here. It's one that's always gonna be a favorite in my home bar. The second whiskey on my list is Centauri Whiskey Toki. Now I have to thank Devin on deck for the introduction to this one. By the way, check out his channel if you haven't already. It's a really good one. Now Centauri Toki is a whiskey that I started drinking a few months ago and it's one that I frequently will reach to when I want a nice easy whiskey to sip on. The nose is described as soft fruits and honey with a bit of peppermint and I actually can pick up a bit of that mint. The palette note profile describes uh, oak, honey, vanilla and ginger but all I really get is a slightly sweet but very smooth whiskey. This is the first ever Japanese whiskey I've tried and although some will say it's nothing spectacular, I've really enjoyed drinking this whiskey and it's piqued my interest into trying other Japanese whiskeys. At around $35 a bottle, it's one I didn't hesitate to try and it's one that I recommend you do too. The third whiskey that I'm talking about is Grangestone Bourbon Cask Finish. Now I actually came across Grangestone at a local shop um, where they were offering, a, they had a small station set up where you could nose different whiskeys from different brands. And the nose for this whiskey is really what drew me in. It has very sweet aromas that really carry through among some citrus and some peaty notes, almost reminiscent of a scotch and soda. Now with this whiskey, you're getting somewhat of a blend of a Highland Scotch and a bourbon. Essentially what Grangestone is doing is taking a Highland Scotch, a proper Scotch, and then aging it in new charred oak barrels. The end result is a whiskey that has a taste just as nice as its nose. It's a very smooth whiskey that has a little more spice than your typical scotch, but it has a little bit of sweetness mixed in that helps to balance it out. If you're a fan of scotch and bourbon, I definitely recommend you give this one a try. This is a great way of bringing those two worlds together. And pricing on this is very good. You can usually get this bottle for about $35 to $40. The fourth whiskey I'm talking about is Four Roses Single Barrel. Now the Four Roses Yellow Label is one of my favorite whiskeys to use when I'm making an old fashioned. But when I want a straight bourbon, I prefer the Four Roses Single Barrel. Now this bourbon has some fruity and spicy notes in the nose with some toffee and vanilla coming through as well. Now on the palate it's described as the fruit, spice and vanilla, but mainly I get that spice, the warm spice with a hint of that vanilla. 
It's a very warm whiskey, which actually makes it a good whiskey to use for a hot toddy, but it's also one that is great when enjoyed straight. A bottle of Four Roses single barrel should run you about 45 bucks. The fifth whiskey on my list is Macallan 12 Double Cask. Now Macallan has a sweet spot in my heart because it's the first scotch that I ever tried to eat. Now I tried the Jack and Coke or the Makers and Coke, but when I first ventured into Whiskey Neat, the old Macallan 12 is where I went. Now that old Macallan 12 really isn't around too much anymore, but I'm really enjoying this double cask. The nose describes it as fruity. You also get some butterscotch notes, along with some of the aromas from sherry oak barrels. And what I get is a nice, slightly sweet, almost effervescent aroma. Now on the palate, I get a nice, creamy, slightly sweet scotch. You get a little bit of warmth, but still very smooth. Now this one runs slightly higher price than the other ones that I've talked about so far. This one, a bottle is gonna run you about $65. Now I don't really spend too much on whiskey, on, at least on one bottle. Um, I do have a bottle of Mac 18. It's actually my favorite whiskey. I just wish it wasn't so expensive so I can enjoy it more often. The sixth whiskey on my list is Elijah Craig Small Batch. Now I actually haven't been enjoying this one for too long. Uh, but in the little bit of time that I spent with it, it's actually starting to rival my preference over the Four Roses single barrel. Now on the nose, this is described as honey, cedar, with some spice, but mainly what I get is a spice with a little bit of a touch of toffee. Now on the taste, it's described as apple, cinnamon, honey, and cookie dough. But what I get is a slightly warm but still smooth cinnamon with a slight touch of sweetness, but not too much. If you want a nice, simple dram of bourbon to sip on, this is a good way to go. And this one's actually gonna set you back only 25 bucks, which isn't bad for an award-winning whiskey. The last whiskey on my list is Lafroy 10. Like I said earlier when I was talking about double black, I'm a big fan of a good smoky whiskey. Lafroy 10 is definitely that. And being an Isla Scotch, that's not surprising. Now the taste is great, but I often find myself nosing this whiskey a lot more than other whiskeys. I just really love the aroma of this whiskey, so much so that I've tossed around the idea of wearing it as a fragrance. Step aside, pure malt. Now obviously I wouldn't really do that, but that doesn't change the fact that this whiskey is great in every way. That is, if you enjoy a smoky whiskey as much as I do. Lafroy 10 is a peaty whiskey from start to finish. You do get some hints of sweetness in the nose and in the palate, but the smoke is a dominant note here, but it's not overwhelming. Now when sipping the whiskey, you get a little more sweetness than you do when you're nosing it amongst that smoke, and then you get a slight spiciness coming up late. Now this definitely isn't gonna be for everyone, unlike the double black that I mentioned earlier. Still, it's one of my favorite whiskeys to drink, and it's always gonna have a spot on my shelf. You should be able to find Lafroy 10 for about 45 bucks. So that wraps up my list of some of my favorite whiskeys to drink straight. Like I mentioned earlier, let me know which of the whiskeys I mentioned you've already tried, or what other whiskeys you enjoy drinking straight. Also, being that whiskey is known as the water of life, having a little bit might help to boost your immune system. I'm just saying. Now as always, if you found value in this video, make sure you hit like and also share it. It really does help this channel to grow. Subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you catch all future videos. And remember, being a gentleman is an everyday thing. Cheers, fellas. Be happy as I can be uh.